Dave Campbell's Texas Football is the official rankings provider of the Associated Press. Uh, they've publi- we have published the, most, the state's most respected Texas high school football rankings for decades, and we've been the official rankings provider of the AP since 2019. We are now ready to unveil the Week 5 Dave Campbell's Texas Football Associated Press official Texas high school football rankings. Once again, this is the last week we will not go through 6A and 5A because no changes. Check out the magazine. It's the same. Um, but we will start with 4A. We take a look at the 4A rankings, where a little bit of a shift as Waco La Vega's loss to Argyle drops him to number four, the new number two team in the state. The lamb passes Badger, Badger, Badgers, whose game uh, against China Spring was canceled this week. Dumas up to number three. Port Lavaca Calhoun up a spot with a win over a good Bel Air Episcopal squad. Corpus Christi Cal Allen was idle, but they get to jump a couple spots because of some chaos in front of them. And three new uh, Canyon up three spots from number ten to number seven. And three newcomers to the rankings. Melissa big win over Stephenville. They are up to number eight. Springtown they beat Godly. They are number nine back into the rankings. And number ten after the big win over Midlothian Heritage. Paris into the top 10. For Division 2, a little bit more ho-hum at the top. Top 5 unchanged. Carthage, Pleasant Grove, West Orange, Stark. Huge winners over Newton. Yeah. Impressive stuff. Gilmer comes back and beats Lindale. They remain number 4. And Jasper beats Harden Jefferson and remain number 5. Belleville up a spot after their impressive win over Rockdale. China Spring, who is idle, is up a spot at number 8. Iowa Park drops a pair of spots, losing to Brock. And uh, Wimberley up a spot after the win over Fredericksburg in a very narrow win. And new to the rankings, number 10, center. Keep an eye on center. Three yeah. and one. Very impressive win over Tyler, Tyler Chapel Hill. They are the number four team in Dave, or 10 team in Dave Campbell's Texas Football's four Division two rankings. To 3A we go. Uh, only one real change. Top seven unchanged. Brock, Grandview, Wall, Pottsboro, Malakoff, Hallettsville, and Shallow Water all either idle or winners. Yoakum up a spot to number nine. Mount Vernon was idle, but they bump up a spot to number 10. And new to the rankings, replacing Rockdale, who drops out is Winsboro. Winsboro's impressive win over San Augustine earns them the number 10 spot in 3A Division 1. To 3A Division 2 we go, where there was a little bit more chaos. Three teams drop out. Number 5, Newton. Number 7, Paul Pewitt. And number 10, Abernathy, who lost to West Orange, Stark, Salina, and Post, respectively. Top 2 unchanged, though. Canadian and Gunner up there. Lexington up a spot despite being idle. Dangerfield beats Elysian Fields. They are up two spots. East Bernard's overtime loss to Shiner drops them a pair of spots from number three to number five. Poth up two more spots as they continue to have the very, very strange strategy of just beating the crap out of everybody yeah. they see. Maybe <laughs> Dilly, 62 to nothing. Spearman cracks the rankings at number seven with a big win over Vega. Childress up a spot despite being idle. Their game uh, was canceled against Shallow Water earlier. Um, Idaloo into the rankings at number nine, and Franklin rejoins the rankings with their impressive win over Troy. To two-way we go. Top three unchanged. Shiner, undisputed number one team. Refuria behind them post. Impressive win over Abernathy. Lindsay, the big mover, up five, four, three spots from number seven to number four. What's that? Five, four, three spots. <laughs> three. Uh, Joaquin <laughs> up four spots uh, with their shutout win over Orr City. They're up to number five. San Saba uh, remains the same despite a close loss to a bigger team in Lano. New to the rankings, the entire bottom four here. Crawford up to number seven with their win. Schulenberg into the top ten with a win over over uh, Flatonia. Tempson joins the rankings at number nine. And Panhandle is the number ten team. To 2A Division two where this was pretty chalky. Yeah. Uh, everyone, with the exception of number six, is the is the same. Mart, Hamlin, Wellington, Windthorst, and Wink, all the same in the top five. Clarendon, Bremont, Albany, and Wheeler all up a spot. And new to the rankings, Archer City joins the rankings at number 10 with a 56-28 win over Henrietta. To the six-man ranks we go with our, the help of our friend and six-man insider, Granger Huntress of SixManFootball.com. Uh, a lot of changes here. Sterling City's big win over Borden County vaults them to number two ahead of BC. Rankin uh, edges Lakey in a crazy that game. That game was awesome. That game was bananas. <laughs> 98-97. They stay the same at number four. Lakey uh, uh, is actually up a spot uh, from one rank uh, one with their win over, or rather their close loss to Rankin. New to the rankings, Knox City joins the rankings at number nine. Impressive stuff from Caleb Calloway's squad. They beat Ira 55 to uh, 16. White Deer uh, had to make room for them, so they dropped two spots. Over to 1A Division 2, 
Uh, Richland Springs uh, leapfrogs uh, Idle Calvert for the number two spot. Motley County up a spot. They they swapped places with Jayton, who lost to O'Donnell this week. Uh, Klondike and Groom stay the same at number seven and number eight. New to the rankings, number nine, Whit Harrell. Their win over Sands gets him into the number nine spot. And Throckmorton up to number 10 with a win over Newcastle. To the private school ranks, again, most of these private schools have not played. The top three, in fact, did not play. Parish Episcopal, John Paul II, and Fort Worth Nolan, all idle. Trinity Christian Cedar Hill went on the road to Arkansas and played Bryant and lost. They dropped the spot. While San Antonio Cornerstone bludgeoned Louisville Flower, uh, Founders Classical, they stay the same at number five. In the six-man ranks, top four did not play. All idle. Bastard Tribe Consolidated did beat Houston Northside Homeschool. They remain the same at number five. You can find all these rankings at texasfootball.com slash rankings. That's texasfootball.com slash rankings for the official Dave Campbell's Texas Football Associated Press rankings. Please check that out.